Okay, everybody knows what this is. A laser, right? Nice beam of light in many applications. Have you ever, what about sound? Can we create a laser-like or a beam of sound? Well, it's very hard to do. And the reason it's hard to do is that sound, typical sound wavelengths are like this big. And long wavelengths bend. They bend around objects. If you have two people on either side of a barrier here, an opaque barrier, you can't, they can't see each other, but they can hear each other, right? How can that happen? Well, the sound diffracts. And it diffracts because the wavelength's long. When the wavelength's small, if the wavelength was very small, the sound would just go out here and this person wouldn't hear. So this makes it really hard to create a beam. But people have been extremely clever about this. And there is a way. It's complicated. We teach it in an advanced course here. And it takes two lectures. Is that right, Andres? Well, oh, he left. He's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to do that? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to um, try to give you just the basic, make this really simple. This is called an audio spotlight, and it's only $2,000. And you know, you know who paid for it? Your parents, right? Okay, so what it does is, it has some transducers here, some um, discs that generate sound, and it puts out 65,000 hertz, 65 kilohertz. What are, what, how high can we hear? Around 20,000. Well, you might be able to. Not you get older. <laughs> <laughs> not down around the way. I don't think <laughs> even them can hear. What? I don't think. Yeah, they I can. think. Yeah. By now they are probably 18 or 17,000. Yeah. Well, you should have hearing test. It's an important, it's an important thing. So anyway, 65 kilohertz, way beyond ours. Dogs can't hear it. It turns out cats can. Okay. Bats, no problem. They're, they, they're typically, they go up to 100,000 hertz. All right? So we can't hear this. It's, it's going, I haven't turned it on yet. When I do, it's going to blast out a 65 kilohertz beam. Because the wavelength is so small, it doesn't spread. Because 65 kilohertz has a wavelength like that. So it's going to be, in that sense, similar to a laser. laser. It just comes right out as a beam. Now, how do we make that audible? Well, they put a modulation on top of the 65 kilohertz. There's a modulation. And now, here's the next thing I have to tell you. That 65 kilohertz is very high amplitude. It won't hurt you, we don't think, okay? <laughs> you certainly can't hear it, and we don't think it'll hurt you. And um, it's very high amplitude. And what happens when you have two sound waves like this, sound plus sound can create sound, but only at high amplitudes. At low amplitudes, sound waves just travel right through each other. You may be sort of familiar with this. But at high amplitudes, you can create sound. So what happens in this apparatus is the audio sound, the sound that you're going to hear, is actually created in the beam, not here. And because it's created in the beam it's, and it stays in the beam, we have a beam of sound. So let me demonstrate this for you. Let me turn it on. And I'm going to find the piece of music that we like. Yeah. You, you may not like it. <laughs> the Eagles? Yes. You like the Eagles? Yes. OK, good. Oh, we have, a, we have a friendly audience this year. Yeah. I think they're just saying that to make us feel better. Right. All right. What? <laughs> it's worth the $2,000. It's not, your, it's not our money. Now. The sound that you're hearing is being created in this beam. It, it almost sounds like it's coming from your head. So let me hit, let me try to scan the whole audience here so everybody gets to hear this. Absolutely remarkable. Pete, are you getting it? Let's try to, wait, one more thing. Let's try to bounce it off the wall. Raise your hand if you can very clearly hear it. I'm going to try to bounce it off the wall. Look at where the hands are raised. It's, put your hands down. No, it's bouncing off the wall. This is a real, a beam of sound. 